Hello and welcome back to History with Hilbert. Now, two weeks ago, I made a video in which I polled you and asked you what should I call the people we now call the Vikings? Because there has been, there have been a few different opinions on that in the comment sections, and I thought I'd ask you all what you'd like me to call them in the future. And it's been a few weeks, so I think most of the results will be in for that. So as you can see today, I'm going to be looking at the results of the poll and explaining what I think is going to be the best way forward to explain them in different contexts and to use the correct terminology where possible. So first of all, the actual results were that um, Viking when applicable. So Viking when applicable, what I mean by that, what I meant was um, to use the term Viking in the Old Norse context. So the word Viking, if in case you don't know, comes from the Old Norse verb fikinger. And Fikinger was to go out, to go raiding over quite a long distance over the water. So a certain group of people were Vikings. For example, you have uh, carpenters. They're people who um, work with wood. They are carpenters because they carpent. That's not a verb, but that's an example of that. People who went Viking were Vikings. So when i'm saying viking when applicable that wouldn't be applicable for say a scandinavian farmer from the ninth century who just sits and tills his fields because he isn't going viking someone who is a chef isn't a lumberjack if that makes sense so most people voted for this one with 37 percent and 32 votes now northman was the next most popular one and northman is something that a lot of foreigners called uh, the people we now call the vikings um for example in france they called them nordmani which meant norman but i'm not going to use the term norman because that will get very much confused with the later normans uh, the people from, you know, Normandy in the north of France, the hybrid sort of Norse-Frankish culture. Uh, and that got 31% of the vote and 27 votes. Now, next I had Dane, Norseman and Swede, and this was essentially using the um, nationality where possible to determine them if we had the nationality, if we knew where they came from. But then I explained some of the, the nuances and issues with this in the other video. And this got, um, you know, you see a big decrease in the amount of votes. This got 13 votes and 15%. Now, Viking, just to be used always. So in that instance, I'd be using Viking for pretty much everyone from Scandinavia during the Viking Age. Uh, so not correct in the Old Norse context. That one had a lot less again. That had 8 votes and 9%. And early Scandinavian, which is a term I sort of threw in there because it might help to explain, was the least popular. And that got 5% of the vote and five votes although some of them will probably be slightly larger and slightly smaller than the percentage um, but that's yeah but that's basically an overview of the votes that you gave me so now on to what i'm going to do about it and i'm going to go through this term by term so it's clear from the poll that a lot of people obviously made the distinction between using Viking correctly in the Old Norse term in the way of people who went Viking are Vikings but not all people from Scandinavia during the Viking Age are Vikings. And I'm going to try and stick to this as much as possible because I think the distinction is important as well because there were Scandinavian traders during this time who traded around the North Sea in Frisia, in the Baltic states, in uh, Ireland, in Francia, in England. They traded around pretty much just as much as they went raiding as they went Viking. So I think it is important to use the distinction. But of course, there were Vikings. It's called the Viking Age because that's what it was famous for. It was famous for these Scandinavian attacks on places, these Viking raids, um, where these people who I will now call Vikings went out on a Viking uh, and returned with plunder. So essentially the attack on Lindisfarne, for example, I will describe that as being a Viking attack on Lindisfarne because that's what it was, hit and run and retreat. Now, on using Viking where it isn't applicable, uh, I'm not going to do that in my videos, so when uh, I'm explaining something or using the terminology in videos, I'm not going to use, uh, well, I'm going to do my very best not to use Viking incorrectly in that sense. However, and this was one of the points that I also said, it is called the Viking Age. And 
if you um, pretty much go anywhere, read any books on this written by scholars who've studied this for donkey's years, they all call them Vikings. I haven't found any exceptions to that yet. Sometimes they do nuance the terms, but the titles are always Viking. And I think this is just for popular appeal and because more people know the term Viking. So I think I'm going to do the same. So what this would look like is that perhaps in a video title, I might use the word Viking and it might not be used 100% correctly then because with video titles, it's a very important part of whether someone wants to watch the video. And one of the reasons I started a YouTube channel was to get more people interested in history. And because I make so many videos about the Viking Age, about this period, I think it's important to engage people who might not otherwise be engaged. And I think by using the word Viking in a title like that, it's going to engage a larger, a much larger audience than if I used, say, a Scandinavian or, or Dane or Norseman or something like that. Um, now, I can use it in conjunction with others, so say Norse Viking, Danish Viking, because the people who attacked Lindisfarne in 793 AD were most likely Norse Vikings from um, what's now Norway. So that's my explanation on the word Viking. So to sum up, basically, um, in the titles, I might use it incorrectly just because it's got that scope, that popular sort of outside of the specific um, academic study as well. They all use the term Viking. So I might use it there. But in videos, as I say, I will only use the word Viking as it applies to people who went Viking. Now, the next term um, is Northman. And... With the term Northman, I had a long think because this is the second most popular one. Um, it got a few less votes than um, Viking when applicable in the poll. But my issue with Northman is I don't like it. I don't like the word Northman. I, if it's because of that film with um, Chris Thingy, I can't remember his name, that's called Northman, but something about the word feels a bit cheesy in a way it feels a bit you know when i think of northman i think of a, a massive uh you know rainstorm and these massive huge guys in in ships with horned helmets and ridiculously uh detailed axes and and things like that and i'm not sure that's really it, it might just be the semantics in my head that I associate with the word northman but for me it's just not really a word that i can see myself honestly using in my videos because if I say you know um, an army of Northmen attacked England that sounds like I'm quoting the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle whereas a Scandinavian army attacked England sounds a lot more 21st century um, and a lot more usable to me so this might this isn't really very democratic of me um, because a lot of people in the poll said they were fine with me using this term. I think 31% did. But I'm going to see and I'm going to try and um, substitute Northman for other terms to be more specific as well where possible. Because, yeah, f for those reasons, I'm, I'm not a massive fan of the word. I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm not comfortable using the word, but it just... I don't know. I don't really feel sincere when I'm, when I'm using the word Northman. It sounds a bit corny to me when I'm using it and that's that might just be me um, and I might just need to you know set myself over this but that's kind of where I'm at with the word Northman now I would substitute that with other words so for example um, Dane, Swede and Norwegian now I explained in the previous video that some of the issues with this um, were that for the first essentially half of the Viking Age um, that these kingdoms didn't exist, that Denmark, Sweden and Norway weren't kingdoms. And, you know, throughout all of the Viking Age, I'm not sure people would have introduced themselves as, Hi, I'm Eric, I'm from Norway. I think it would be more like, you know, I'm Eric, I'm from Kalpung, I'm from this tribe, rather than, you know, the, the national identity being a big thing that, that only comes around much later. So that's one of the issues. Another one of the issues is sometimes we don't know where they came from. We don't know if they were Danish, Swedish or Norwegian, or even if they came from the area that's now Denmark or now Sweden or now Norway. 
so sometimes we just don't know. However, I think it would be good, and some people did comment this as well, that when we do know where they came from, that I will add this in. So I think I'm going to try and do that as much as possible. So for example, we think that, um, I know I keep using this analogy, but it's it's just um, a good one to use, that the attack on Lindisfarne, we think that that was perpetrated by Norwegian Vikings, by Vikings from Norway. So I might then describe them as Norse Vikings, because that's how you describe people from the Viking Age um, from Norway, for example. Or I might describe the uh, Danish invasion of England, which was the great heathen army. That was an army from Denmark who invaded. Well, there were probably um, people from a few from Norway and Sweden, but the majority, and probably Frisia as well. Actually, I need to make a few videos about that. But um, the majority were from Denmark. So I would use that then uh, as well. Now, the next term, uh, Norse, I briefly mentioned this one. Now, some people suggested using Norse, but quite a few people commented. And actually, I can't remember your name, I'm sorry. But um, a guy uh, from Sweden commented that if I used the term Norse, then it, he wouldn't feel like that included Swedish. Uh, and then probably by, um, by default, then Danish as well. Because it is Norse from, it does come from uh, Norway. Um, so I don't think that would be good for a blanket term, but I'll use Norse for specifically Norwegian. Um, so for example, in Ireland and Scotland, you've got a people called the Hiberno Norse, which was, uh, which were um, a, a basically a mixture between the local Gaelic peoples and the Norse who came from Scandinavia, and that was a mix. And there, and then you use the term Norse. Um, you might, and then as well with the others, I might use uh, Danish in and Swedish in conjunction with uh, other terms. But that's the term Norse. So I don't think I'm going to use that as a blanket term but as a specific term for uh, Norwegian. And then finally, Scandinavian. I'm going to mention this will be my blanket term, I think, because Scandinavian is the one that is just always accurate. Because people who were part of this culture, part of um, this, well, Viking culture, quote-unquote, were Scandinavian, that's the best word to describe them. They came from Denmark, Norway and Sweden, and Denmark, Norway and Sweden are the countries who, um, this is debatable, but genuinely they are the countries that make up Scandinavia. So the people from there and the culture from there are Scandinavian. So this seemed to me to be the best fit. Now, you might again say this is, well, this is really undemocratic because look at the vote. Uh, early Scandinavian, which was one of the options, was the last. I only got five votes out of a total of something like 87. And I do realise this, but I think this is going to be probably the best one to use as a blanket term when A, they're not Vikings, B, I don't know exactly where they came from. So, for example, I don't know which country they came from and also just to describe the culture as a whole if I ever need to do that. Because I think this is the term that best best describes them. Because if I start describing Viking farming equipment, that you see, you see when I've explained what Viking is all about, then how can you have Viking farm equipment? That doesn't work. Um, so I need a blanket term, whereas if I'd said Scandinavian farming equipment, you go, ah, right, okay, it's from Scandinavia, that region. Um, so I think that's going to be the best fit. So to summarize, the uh, word Viking will be used in titles, even if it's not 100% correct, just because of the outreach. It means I'll be able to reach more people with the videos, more people know what I'm on about, know sort of the rough time period, um, so I can introduce more people to it. But in videos, when I'm explaining things, uh, things on the screen, I will use the word Viking as it's correct in its Old Norse way of using its word, in the Old Norse usage. Now the term Northman, for the reasons that I've explained, I don't think I'm going to use in my videos. Uh, however, the term Scandinavian, I think I will use that when I can't use the term Viking, if it's not applicable, uh, or when the country of origin is unknown, or it is a large mixture of two. So 
quite often you would have a, a few differences say with the great heathen army as i said you had a few norwegians and probably a few swedes mixed in um but i'll use scandinavian when it when it really is a, a big uh, a big mix between all of them now again norse i'll use that as a, a a term but not a blanket term like scandinavian but a specific one for norwegian and the specific uh countries i'll use when we know what the country of origin uh, was or where where it would be today um and especially if that's important as well so if there was say a battle between um, a norwegian king and a danish king then it would make sense to use the norwegian army and the danish army all right so this has been um my response essentially these are my thoughts on the poll and um how i'm going to use the terms in the future now do let me know if you agree or disagree i'll put up another poll i know you must be sick of polls um but i'll put up another poll to see what you all thought of it um and to see if you agree with me and now if loads of people disagree then i'll have another think and i might adapt it but i think in my head i've had a good think about it and i think this will be the best way to do it Alright, so I'm History with Hill, but this has been my uh, video and my thoughts on the, uh, I'm not going to say the Viking solution, but um, yeah, how I'm going to refer to the Vikings in the future.